Does anybody really know what time it is? Dr. Sean Miller is here, as well as Dr. David Carmos. Their book is You're Never Too Old to Become Young, a revolutionary approach to reversing the aging process. They're giving a couple seminars in town that we'll tell you about in a minute. Um, but you're going to answer some questions for our viewers. First. Excellent. Sure. Yeah. It's all about anti-aging. That's what they've been researching for decades now and healthy living. I'm 35 years old and I've been smoking for almost 20. I've done a lot of sun tanning as well. Is there anything I can do about my skin? And my face, the elasticity of my skin is not the same, and my pores are big. Yeah, well, that's some trouble. That's from Susan. All right. <clears throat> For one thing, big pores, too much fat in the diet. Causes oh. the body to overheat. Oh. And you end up with those big pores. A lot of fat in the diet. Spe uh, one error a lot of women make is cheese. Because... Uh, I love cheese. I, well, that's what they, it's, uh, yeah, it's not good? Well... well from a health standpoint, it's not the best thing. It's yeah. high in cholesterol. It's high yeah. in saturated fat. Mm -hmm. And remember, cow's milk has been designed by nature for an animal whose baby weighs 65 pounds when it's born and a year old weighs 150 pounds. And at maturity, is going to be 1250 to 1500 pounds. It's super concentrate. Um, the other thing, too, is when, yeah. you're, when your skin starts losing elasticity, a lot of times you're not having enough oxygen in uh -huh. your body. So obviously water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful thing to start with. But also eating foods, like natural foods, like fresh foods that are uh, fruits and vegetables that have more oxygen in them, yeah. that will we'll also help, the help to reoxygenate the skin. Okay, let's get a couple Fiber's more of these important in. Too. Fiber is huge yes. as There's well. some exercises for the face, too, which are kind of nice that could help yeah. reverse the aging process. Do you want to show one? All right, here's okay, one. Uh, this is called the platysma stretch. Platysma, would you mind? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, platysma is this muscle here. Yes. All right? See mm -hmm. how I'm flexing it? Yes. Now watch the movement here. Yeah. All right. What happens is this muscle forms the neckline. Uh-huh. It attaches onto the, into the pectoral area. Uh-huh. So when this muscle becomes flaccid, not only does the neckline sag, yeah. but the chest drops. So it could be actually this a natural help. breast now, lift also. the upper end of okay, it attaches so on the again? mandible. <laughs> okay. yeah. So, yeah. as this muscle becomes flaccid, not only does the neckline drop and allows the chest to drop, uh -huh. but for women, the bust starts drooping, but more than that, it doesn't keep the face mass So all tight, I need to do this? And you start getting horizontal. Well, this is even better. You place the chin on the chest, uh -huh. grimace at the sides of the jaw, yeah. pull the lips back, Toward, as if you're going to touch the corners of your mouth to the ears. Okay. And then you hold. See how that flexes? Yeah. Now hold the flexion. Place the hands on the chest. Push down with the right heel of the right hand, heel of the left hand. Okay. On the corresponding sides. Push in, pull down as you stretch up. Uh huh. Inhaling. Exhale as you relax the right hand. Pull down with the left. Lower the chin to the chest. Inhale up to the center. We apply the pressure with the right hand. Relax the left. Exhale as we go down to the left shoulder. Inhale, fly both hands, stretch forward, and... Uh, it's not easy to hold that? that. Yeah. It takes... But, you know, it's like anything worth getting is worth working for. We're going to move on over here. All right. All right. We want to... Uh show a couple of moves that what do what help just keep you limber well, actually the first the young. first one we're going to show this is one that we use for reversing the aging process specifically yeah and what a massage does for the okay what a massage does for the body this does for the internal system all right so let me uh this is something here anyone let me hold it who you. needs to this is something anyone who's structurally normal can do okay and um i taught it to sean i've been doing it for 50 years okay it's a yoga exercise that literally does for the internal organs what good deep Swedish massage would do for the skeletal whoa, muscles. Whoa, 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 how do you do that? Whoa. Slowly. <laughs> whoa. What is, what. What's going on there? Just he is massaging, this. using the mind, he's massaging all the internal organs, the liver, spleen, pancreas, l large and small intestine, lungs. Are your, are, is your spleen meant to be massaged? Why not? Well, I don't what know. Don't it's hard use, to get to. Oh, I see. <laughs> what you don't use, you tend to lose. Right? Uh, okay, why don't we hear it go this right, way and I'll go this way? Okay. okay what? So what's so, this next one? And you've been doing yoga for 53 years. 50, I started in 1952. Wow. Okay, go ahead. We have about 30 seconds left. That helps to squeeze out all the toxins that are in there. And what actually, what, in our book, we talk about a specific diet that helps break down the hardened deposits in your system. Aye, and the aye, yoga aye. exercises help to squeeze that stuff out. These are wonderful exercises, hip, thigh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for the hip, the thigh, yeah. lower abdomen. Now, here's an unusual one. It's called a twisting cobra. Either okay. place this 
in this case, the right hand on the inner right thigh, out of the left if you can, on yeah. the floor. Okay. Bend the forward elbow slightly and you turn. Now, some of these are a little, little, high, little more advanced, but some of these are very, the are very basic moves that any, anybody can start trying. You notice, uh oh, when I was nearly 57, yeah. I dislocated the shoulder. Yeah. My range of motion was there. Yeah. Right? Because of the way I live, the yoga, the diet, I've gotten it to this point. I not only got all of my flex. thank you, I've not only gotten all of my flexibility back. Yeah. But see, combining it with a lower body exercise, this works on the major joints of the upper extremity, shoulder, elbow, wrist, uh -huh. major joints of the lower extremity, hip, knee, ankle. Yep, and Very it creates, important. You, you become incredibly limber with, whoa, with Ooh, the watch yoga. This. I haven't done this. Where, what are you doing? <laughs> watch this, I've got to charge my body with a little energy. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my, oh. That really is incredible. Now, uh, let me, let me show that. Dr. Sean Miller and Dr. David Carmos, I want to tell you that their book is called You're Never Too Old to Become Young, A Revolutionary Approach to Reversing the Aging Process. And they will both be giving two seminars this Saturday and Sunday at the Yoga Loft in Brampton from 2 to 5 p.m. Look for their book coming out soon. Go to www.perfecthealthnow.com. That is impressive, gentlemen. Doctors, thank you both so much for being here, thank you, sharing doctor. your wisdom with us. Here's Anne again in the newsroom. That's quite amazing. Okay, 746, Environment Canada.